but that's just the start because from here on i'm gonna create tons of things that move make noises spin and even prints that can merge into each other so here's a 3d printer and after about three hours this is a satisfying 3d print Whoa! But that's just the start, because from here on, I'm gonna create tons of things that move, make noises, spin, and even prints that can merge into each other. So buckle up and let's hit it! The first 3D prints I made are called flexi grids, and you've actually already seen one. Yeah! At first it looks like a bunch of cubes, but while it's printed, these sliding rails are built in and connects all the cubes together. So it's not just a chunk, but what's awesome is no matter what part you pull from, the other cubes fall down so nice. So much so I printed another one, this time in a different shape. Instead of cubes, it's hexagons. It's low-key a little thicker, but because it's smaller, it's a lot easier to hold. The color wave is pretty solid, it works like it's supposed to, and both are very satisfying. Now which one of these is better? There's an easy way to tell. Give them a poke. Yeah, let's just say this one. The more cubes, the better. 